Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime, back at it again for another Transformers action figure video, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers 1 Deluxe Class... Megatron! So anyway, let's take a look at the packaging. And taking a look right there, we've got Megatron slash D16 right there. It says Megatron Studio Series number 114, Transformers, Transformers 1, got the image right there. AUTHENTIC TRANSFORMERS! And here on the back, got promo shots and stuff and like that. And there's his mug shot right there. It says he's a deluxe class. That's almost it for the packaging. Comes with this cardboard backdrop that you can place the figure in. By the way, for those of you who still have not watched Transformers 1, here's my quick thoughts on it. This right here is my favorite thing ever. In the history of forever. I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. I hope that convinced you guys to go watch it. So anyway, back to the review. And here's all the accessories included with Megatron and, you know, first off he comes with a fusion cannon. This isn't the one from the end of the film, but it's still a nice looking fusion cannon. He's also got this little arm cannon right there, which also comes to play in tank mode later. And then he also comes with these little blasters right here. These honestly don't really have that much of a role to play, though you can combine them with Me with Megatron's backpack, and I guess you can transform it into the jetpack they had at the beginning of the film when they were in the race. If we survive this, I'm gonna kill you! Are you sure about that? And of course, the backpack goes just, you know, here on his back. The mini arm cannon just goes right there on his arm. And then the fusion cannon, of course, goes right up his ass. And here's now taking a look at that Megatron head sculpt there. I like the silver there in the face. Those red eyes are very piercing, and he's got the traditional bucket head on there, though it's just me, but some of his likeness does, he doesn't look exactly one-to-one -one like he did in the movie. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something just looks a little off. I don't know if it's because he doesn't have pupils or maybe his chin is a little off. I can't put my finger on it, but overall, I like the rest of the detail that's on this guy's body. I do wish that maybe they added in that little scratched up Decepticon logo on his chest, or maybe they at least gave him the, you know, the, the Megatronus Prime sticker on his shoulder or something of that sort. And just overall, I like the detail right here, like the belly button, uh, button panel right there and the red. Highlights of red definitely do a lot. I also like those black accents he's got throughout the entire figure. And overall, I just like the amount of detail and sculpting they put into this guy. And overall, he just, you know, doesn't look too shabby, not that much kibble on this guy, and again, there's that backpack. And just overall, really nice looking, you know, Megatron. But even now getting him in person, his legs still do look a little long on his body. Megatron, more like Legatron. <laughs> <coughs> Going over Megatron's posability, he's got a ball joint at the head which allows for his head to swivel from side to side. Can't really look up or down, but he does have a hinge at the at this panel right here that allows him to look down a whole bunch, but again, it doesn't allow him to look up. Shoulders rotate a full 360, they can move in and out. And then he does uh, have a bicep swivel, nine, uh, over 90 degrees of bend at double jointed elbows. Due to transformation, he does have wrist swivel right in there. He does also get a waist swivel in there. Just be careful, his hips tend to run into the sides of his body sometimes. His hips can move outward that far. His tall, long-ass legs can move back that far. They can move forward that far. He does have a knee swivel, no thigh swivel, sadly. 90, well, a little over 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And then his ankles can hinge up and down, and then it can have some slight ankle pivot in there. So very nice stuff going on. Also due to transformation, you can also use these joints, but honestly, the only thing I've been able to use them with is having a little crossed leg pose on the throne. Mm, what a bitch. And now getting into the size comparisons. Here he is with Transformers 1 Deluxe Class Optimus Prime. And then here he is with Megatron, Megatron, Megatron. <laughs> Megatron, 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 yes, and D16. <gasps>
<sighs> okay, now that the comparisons are out of the way, let's get right on into this guy's transformation. As soon as I finish my lunch. Whopper, 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 junior double, triple. I need to break the habit of recording before I eat. And here's now taking a look at Megatron's tank mode. Honestly, kind of a simplistic design. It does have a lot of details here that invoke some of previous Megatron tank designs that we've had in the past. And overall, I just, you know, like how it looks. I mean, I like the new treads that have now been revealed here at the front. And again, those long legs have now converted into these long struts at the front. Giant tank uh, cannon right there. I like how the mini barrel kind of forms into this square shaped barrel right there. And also, I like how the backpack also is utilized a lot more in here as well. The treads in there. And I also like how the hands camouflage into the treads as well. Very nice little details right there. And sadly though, this does not have any like rolling wheels or anything. It just kind of slides across like Disney on ice. And overall, it has this little hinge joint right here, and it swivels from side to side, and so that's pretty much all you really can get with the tank mode, to be honest. I mean, like, I think this tank is powerful enough that it could take on the power of Zeus. Zeus! Is this how you face me, coward? I am through doing the bidding of the gods! But one thing that I do need to bring up that I do have an issue with this tank mode is that not everything likes to necessarily plug in. Everything's just kind of held together with friction and it just sometimes feels all like it just feels like the whole thing's barely being held together by tiny little connections. And so I just really wish that this thing would have just held together a little bit better. It's not a huge problem. You can still get it to work just fine. It's mostly this little chest area right here that I wish would just clip in or click in somehow. It's just a little too floppy and flimsy for my taste, and it just ruins the overall solidity of the mode. And now getting into the Megatron vehicle mode size comparisons. Here he is with the Transformers 1 Deluxe Class Optimus Prime, and then here he is with Megatron, 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 Megatron. Megatron, 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 yes, and D16. Those comparisons totally didn't take like an hour to make. I hope you guys are flipping grateful. And yeah, that is basically it for my review on the Transformers 1 Deluxe Class Megatron. Overall, I think this figure is okay. I mean... I feel like my biggest issue with the tank mode is that some of, not everything seems to want to tab in and so it just ends up being kind of a floppy mess that feels like it's just being held together with friction and even then it doesn't feel like the friction is that strong and just again it, it, it could have just used some little tabs right in there in order to get the chest to fit but overall I think the tank mode is fine I don't really love it or hate it it's just a tank. And the Megatron robot mode I think looks good, I like it, the only problem is just like I mentioned in my previous Optimus Prime video based on the promotional images, his legs do look a little long and it, in person even though I thought the promotional images were just making it look weird. Turns out, you know, it, it is exactly as awkward as it looks and it is a little awkward when posing it and... And also his hips are a little weird as well. They kind of run into his sides and sometimes it makes it difficult for posing. So overall, I like the Megatron. He's just not my favorite of the Transformers 1 toys. But overall, I will give him a very solid 7 out of 10. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this review. If you guys enjoyed it, give me a like on the video, comment below what you guys think, subscribe to the channel for more Transformers and action figure videos. And I'll catch you guys next time.